call town clerk we're calling. We're going to make him aware of Trevor Colby. Hello, town office, George Blakely. Good morning, George. How are you? Good, thank you. Great. I would like to speak with you in regards to Trevor Colby, who is okay. voted in and has pending lawsuits, intent to sue. You got a moment? So, um, is this relative to town business? Yes, it is. It's relative to the fact that I've been violated by your town and Trevor Colby. I've been defamed. He called me on audio record knowing he was being recorded, uh, emotionally unstable, knowing that he has failed the community as well as myself. And so I'd like to talk to you about it and find out what we can do to come up with a resolution before I file against Guildhall and the County of Essex. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that uh, this is happening. I don't know anything about it. I don't of course know what you don't because they, they hide but, uh, everything. They hide everything, and that's why you don't know anything. I'm not surprised you don't know anything about it. However, I have filed billions and multi-million against Trevor Colby, the prosecutors, and the courthouse judges, as well as others. And the fact is that I was violated in that town many times. Trevor Colby has hidden, aided and abetted, and refused to accept documented, notarized statements in response to all of this, out of concern of all of this, and request for investigation into all of what I'm telling. So with that being said, it is all shared publicly on YouTube. We do have a reporter from the area, a news reporter that has picked it up. We've uh, decided and agreed that we will not share her reporter for her safety until we contact the town office, which I'm doing now, to let the Board of Selectmen and anybody in the area aware that there are pending requests for investigation into your sheriff, Trevor Colby. And I want to know if you can tell me who you can direct the call to that will oversee and make sure that this is brought to as an emergency meeting through your town to make sure that everybody is aware in this town as well as county what's happening. You see, because what happened was it led from my daughter being safe in the area to being abused, sex trafficked, and still hindered and aided, as well as being played out against by Trevor Colby, Essex County Sheriff's Department in your town that you house the Sheriff's Department in, by refusing to make sure that we are safe. And there's a mission statement. There's a county mission statement, a town mission statement, a police mission statement, a constitution for the state of Vermont, and a constitution for the United States that's all being violated by Trevor Colby. So we need to perhaps come up with a suggestion and a solution so that this further lawsuit does not have to be filed. Okay. Well, what so I'm going to give you my name and I'm going to give you the opportunity to contact Trevor Colby and ask him why since 2019 has he refused to investigate his friend Mark Newell who sexually assaulted me, took my service dog from me, and did other situations to include his frivolous activity, okay? Covering Aiden and abetting in crimes is a major felon in federal, correct? So let's get to the bottom of this. Let's find out I don't want him on duty today. We are fixing to do a citizen's arrest on all involved, and that is not a joke, and that is not a prank. This is a serious situation. You can Google my last name. You can Google Barnett Woman Sues, and you're going to find out this all leads back to Trevor Colby, why I filed $87 billion in multi-million against the community. Okay. So, um, you... My name is Kimberly Dewarter in federal court against Trevor Colby. Slow down. I need to know your name again, please. My name is Kimberly, due to the fact that I filed a high-risk protection order in federal court against Trevor Colby, Essex County, and the state of Vermont, Vermont State Police, and Prosecutor <laughs> Luzzi, and the judges in Essex County Courthouse Guildhall. So you have filed a lawsuit? 
I have filed many, many lawsuits, not only in Burlington, but in Washington, D.C. level. You can Google them. You can look on my pacer. You can just ask Trevor Colby. How about that? In Lorna Noyce, because you see Lorna Noyce, the wife of Jeffrey Noyce, who was friends with Trevor Colby, they all conspired organized crime against me and my family. My daughter got sex trafficked. And my grandson went missing. And I was frivolously charged with misconduct that Trevor Colby refuses to 